Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. In this video, I will tell you a little bit more details about my expansion card for my Amiga 1200. This is the card come with. And when I bought this Amiga 1200, previous owner stated this card is an Emitec 8, uh, with 8 megabyte fast RAM. Anyway, uh, it works fine when I receive it and I did some mods on my Amiga, but uh, long story make short, pretty much when, when I was running uh, WSG load games, I recognized some games which has uh, more than 2-3 floppy disks as I said, uh, it will not run, or some heavy games will not boot, it will give me that black screen with red uh, errors message. And uh, I did check uh, settings on uh, jumpers, and according to Amitek uh, manual, uh, it's supposed to be up, down, up. That's a 8 megabyte configuration. And then I started looking some information on Google, on the forums. I found that there's a few guys, actually more than a few guys, who has the same card, also with 8 megabyte. It got the same error, it's the same problem. And uh, Basically, they saying, well, well, actually, one guy suggested, well, I got same issue. What I do for those heavy games who doesn't run, I go in a uh, info and remove it preload, and then we'll run. I tried, and it does it does help. Pretty much all those games which didn't run before, if you remove it preloads, will will run. Uh, then I found that this card actually is not Emitec. I, I mean, uh, basically, it's a MTEC card. It looks identical, which it, is, it still doesn't have any writings with saying MTEC. But if I change it, the jumper to this position, all three jumpers up, 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 that will be 8 megabytes. And it's kind of funny because if you preset as a MTEC, that's what previous owner did just like that, it will still say, uh, show, it will register it as a 8 megabyte. Let me, let me install it and I will show you what I'm talking about. Pretty much. Right now I did preset it as a Emitec, up, down, up, same way as previous owner did. Okay. And here it said 7,743,080 kilobyte memory. Pretty much the 8 megabyte. It shows a little bit less because I'm running a 3.1.4 uh, workbench. And let's run it. Here's a good example. Alien Breed uh, AGA uh, style version. Uh, Tower of uh, Tower Assault. It will give me that flashing screen and pretty much, let's see, sometimes give me black screen with a red message most of the time. It's actually, it's gonna reset, most likely it will reset it. Like I said, sometimes give me black screen with a red message, uh, sometimes it resets automatically, yeah, resets automatically. Okay, and actually uh, right now we can see the fast memory it shows zeros. I will have to uh, restart it. Uh, basically in this configuration as a Amitech, like I said, it does rec recognize it as a 8 megabyte, but there's not really actual 8 megabyte. I assume probably maybe it's a 4 megabyte or, or something between. I don't know how to explain, but it will not run. If I go back and remove it preload, and preload to remove it is kind of simple. You just go to info, remove it preload, save. Then you try it again. And now this game will run. It will take a little bit longer to boot it, because, like I said, it doesn't have 8 megabyte. Uh, it's probably 4 or maybe even less. But it will it will run that game. 
let's wait a little bit like i said it's gonna take maybe a 20 30 seconds or so there you go But the problem is when you remove preloads, uh, some games it will run the way like like this game. Some game will give you all kind of flashing screen before before it starts. It's kind of really bit, uh, I mean a little bit annoying. Uh, let me pull it out card and switch it to MTech settings, not MTech because like right now it sets as a MTech. Mm, let's see right over here you see up down up and according to emitech uh, manual that's a 8 megabyte settings now we preset it as a mtech that's what i discovered this is the mtech card not emitech all three set uh, jumpers all three up i mean the high uh, upper position not lower okay also well, in this configuration, you guys probably did recognize it. It shows slightly higher numbers. I don't recall exactly what the previous numbers, but slightly higher. And now we're gonna try the same game. And uh, we're gonna put it back preload. So, sorry about that. Then save it. And then try it. Like before you saw, I mean, if it will not boot. Yep, it's running, no problem. Well, guys, pretty much if you do have a same card uh, or similar card with same issue, just make sure you got right settings because 8 megabyte will be plenty enough to run probably 99% of all games on a WGA loader. I believe it's pretty much, yeah, like 99 and 97% or so will run no problem. Like in my case, uh, like I said, original settings was as a Amitech uh, settings because the previous owner to it's an Amitech card. It turns this is a Amitech, not Amitech. Anyway, guys, well, I hope this video was helpful in some way usable i mean useful if you guys do enjoy it thumbs up if you don't want to miss any future videos subscribe we will really appreciate it.